So welcome back everyone and let's continue with our reviews about the J League season that is about to start. I need to uh, rush a little bit with our with uh, this preview series. Uh, also because uh, now uh, we are at Gambazaka, we have 14 more teams to cover and it's a lot. It's a lot to do it in less than a week. Then we had the first game of the of the season. It's going to be the champions, you know, the last two champions, Yokohama FC, F Marinos, not FC, Yokohama F Marinos, facing Kawasaki Frontale. Anyways, uh, now we talk about Gamba Osaka, a big team, a giant team that has fallen off in the last two years. Um, I mean, it happened in the past. That's what I want to say first of all, because here we have their record. You see, it's for the first time in this preview series, I have this uh, J League champ um, badge, patch, or whatever you want, a symbol, icon, however you want to call it, because they are two times Japanese champ uh, in 2005 and 2014. And 2014, 2014 is the reason why uh, Gambo fans should have hope about the Nero Azzurri um, because in 2013 was their only season in J2 they were in J2 they came back to J1 and they won, they won it all basically they won the J League they won the Emperor's Cup and they won the J League Cup uh, what now is called the Levain Cup for sponsoring reasons but that was a sporadic year because they, uh, if we go back in history, now I'm reading on Wikipedia, uh, they were coming from a, like a great series of seasons and they had, I don't know how, that season 2012 that everything like basically was <laughs> going down and they arrived 17th, but 2011 they arrived 3rd. 2010, second, 2009, third, 2008 was the exception where they arrived eighth, but they won the Emperor's Cup and the Champions League. They were the Asian champions. They went to the World Cup and they arrived third. So, and we can continue. 2007, third, 2006, third, 2005, their first championship. Uh, 2004, third. So, they were coming from a series of of great seasons but that's not the case in the last two se seasons they arrived 15th and 13th in uh, 2019 they are at second no sorry in 2020 they are at second before that seventh and they were seventh in the league so and before that ninth and tenth they are not doing great they are not doing great so they went for a little revolution right now. Uh, Patrick has gone. He's gone. He's gone to Kyoto Osanga. Uh, they have a new head coach that I put it, that I did put with the key players, even though he's not a player, obviously. Uh, Danny, Danny Poyatos, coming from Tokushima Forties. He's the new head coach and he will lead his key players, Riku Handa and Kosei Tani are the two that I put it here, but I did put here, I'm, I'm continuing to say put it, it's wrong in English. Did put, I did put them here as their key players, um, but I mean, uh, I could have like put a lot of others, but their goal is to go back to the top half, try to rise up. I'm not saying winning the J League, that's, I'm not seeing that as a possibility. There are teams that are way better right now, like Yokohama F Marinos, like Kawasaki Frontale, like um, uh, Kashima Antlers, and and also FC Tokyo. I'm seeing FC Tokyo doing pretty good this year. But yeah, if they want, first of all, fill up Suita Stadium with their 39,694 seats, they have to show passion. They have to show 
there that they can do it and not all not just in the J League but also in the Emperor's Cup and the and the J League Cup J League Cup. We'll see what's going to happen. Uh Gamba Osaka have a great history. They have a pretty good team. Great fans. Um it's a shame that they're, they're not performing well. I hope to see them um, do good things. Uh, their fans deserve it. Um, yeah, and now, right now, right now, Serezo Osaka is the first team in Osaka. Uh, will Gamba Osaka like try to uh, come back on the top? We'll see what's going to happen. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.